Some new animated graphs are making the rounds on social media and they show COVID numbers changing over time in all 50 states. And Arizona, uh, not hard to miss on a lot of these graphs because at one point our numbers were shooting up fast. Here's Brianna Whitney. Check this out. These animated graphs from New York Times data give an incredible visual representation of state COVID data and how it changed over time. But in almost every category, Arizona launches to the very top in the worst way. And a top health expert says there's a clear answer as to why. These animations illustrate Arizona's pandemic response. And in June and July, Arizona far exceeds states in both new COVID cases and new COVID deaths. I'm just being honest with you. I think the response in from the second half of May up until probably June 25th was actually pretty bad. Will Humble was the former director of the Arizona Department of Health and says he thinks state officials did well up until May and then decisions were poor. Governor Doug Ducey lifted the stay at home order on May 15th and two weeks later, these graphs show the start of quickly rising cases and deaths. Humble says that initial reopening wasn't done well, forcing Arizona to backtrack weeks later. We did it very abruptly and without any compliance or enforcement expectations on the part of bars and nightclubs. In June, Governor Ducey allowed local cities to make their own mask mandates. Not only did we not have a statewide face covering mandate, we had been prohibiting cities and counties from having a local ordinance in place all the way up until June 17th. Humble says data shows in the weeks after local leaders enforced mask mandates, numbers improved, though Arizona is still in the top 10 in most categories. Humble says he hopes these graphs can be used to do better during an expected second wave. Elected officials within our state can learn from the experiences that we went through in June and July and hopefully not repeat them. I reached out to the Arizona Health Department to ask for their reaction and if they believe these animations highlight a downfall in their pandemic response, but did not hear back. Reporting in Phoenix tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.